Ah, it feels like a decade ago. Boy, we finally got it. It's so cold Snow Squad, it's your girl Namite, the prettiest, the sexiest, and the thickest player here in Anime Fighters. And finally, guys, finally, we managed to hatch a secret pet. And I think that I actually hatched it probably two hours ago. I, I'm not sure, guys. I just went back to my PC and look at that, guys. Look at that. Well, it's still not a shiny one, but I actually actually check out my bag and we got a free passive on it so i think that i'm not gonna complain about that so anyway guys let me just uh, show it to you and here we go i would consider this as one of the rarest at least in my case one of the rarest secret pet and look at that sweet passive that we got for free guys he actually got strong too so the stats that you will be seeing at least on this video will be 25 percent more compared to its normal form and since this is only a normal one obviously guys i think that there's no way that i will be using him even though he already got the strong too but anyway guys as you can see the damage of this guy is already at 560 million and if we're gonna fuse all of our trash units right now he will end up instantly to 141 so let me just uh, try to do that real quick and unequip all and just equip him and this is how gonna be the newest secret pet and i believe that uh, he is esta rosa from seven deadly sins obviously but i'm just not sure guys so 7ds fans make some noise down in the comment section below let me know in the comment section below what is the power of this dude on seven deadly sins not gonna lie though it was my first time hearing that name and also knowing him but yeah kind of sucks that he really doesn't have any face at all so at level 141 guys he will already be giving us one oh my god 1.3 billion basic damage and of course guys it is higher because of the strong too i think that if we're gonna go to the index uh you know what let me just do the index thingy um seven special crimes uh 141 right so without the passive guys his normal damage supposedly should only be 1.1 billion but since we got the 25 percent more he can actually hit 0.2 billion higher but anyway guys let's try to see and check out the power and also the animation of this one pretty sure that most of you already have seen the effect or at least the animation of this dude but don't worry guys we are going to upgrade him to level 150 because you know me guys i hate showing you some noob stuff so we're just going to do some pro moves here so 208 million damage per click guys four five six seven all right so he's gonna be a seven plus one ultimate and for his ultimate animation ah oh, it's gonna be an explode oh my god all right wait a second so it is not really like an explosion but it's kind of like it's kind of like a lot of um i don't know like fast moving animation look at this guys i mean googling for the thumbnail actually i saw that he kind of like uh, has the aura like a purple aura just like the color of his animation right now so I'm, I'm actually guessing that he's actually a bad guy at least on seven deadly sins but i mean meliodas also got a purple aura and obviously he's not you know like the bad bad guy so i'm not really sure guys uh, just uh, let me know in the comment section below but as you guys can see it is impossible for us to actually measure his ultimate um at least ultimate damage because it's gonna be a spam attack oh my god my voice is so bad because of my cold but yeah it is what it is guys and look at that guys 640 yeah 664 million but there's a lot of it guys and this mini boss got like 750 billion hp i think that if we're we're gonna use him uh, probably on the previous map you know what let's go to maybe on the curse high only or probably even on the empty world yeah you know what let's just go to the empty world so that we can you know like we can see and also maximize the potential of his uh, ultimate wait where's the mini boss here 
Bro, where's the thick girl here? Dude, she died? Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, so 17, yeah, I think that this is too low. 17.5 billion, you know what? Uh, let's go to the curse high again. Okay, guys, the mini boss on this map is actually too weak for our new secret pet. So I think that Sukuna would actually be a good fight. So 300 billion, I think that's not really gonna be that bad. And obviously, guys, since we are only using one, our DPC is a lot, lot lower. And I'm going to retreat him after the ultimate. Okay, there you go. Alright, so as you guys can see, the ultimate, this is not only the ultimate damage, guys. So ultimate plus the critical chance as well. So 300 billion minus 212 billion. That's going to be around um, 78. Yeah, 78 billion. But keep in mind that he also needs to take like um, 7. Yeah, so 7. So I think that his ultimate is not really that good. Or should I say it's not the best. But it's kind of like a, a spam attack. So I think that... I think that that's just okay, but the fact that he's actually dealing like a billion amount of damage and of course he got the passive was strong too. Definitely guys, this would be a handy unit for all of you guys. I mean, there's no point of us doing or at least trying him uh, on the 15 trillion last boss on the final island because that would take ages. But as you guys can see, I think that this already kind of like uh, his third ultimate, but yeah, still going to be 300 billion HP. So it's not like Sukuna so weak. All right. So anyway, guys, like what I promised to you, I'm going to max him out. Not really max him out, but I'm going to upgrade him up until level 150. And we will see, guys, at least his max potential once he already reached that stage. So anyway, I'll be right back, boys. Thousands of tears later. And there goes my 100 trillion yen. As you guys can see, he is only level 149 but just wait a second guys but even though we didn't manage to upgrade him up until level 150 if we're going to head on to the index look at this guys i just checked it you know what maybe you guys will say it is fake look at that a normal version of the secret pet stosa would actually only deal 2.9 billion but for our new stuff here as you guys can see he is actually even more stronger than a level 150. So that means I didn't really clickbait any one of you, right? So 3.3 billion guys, that is even 0.4 billion more than the damage of a level 150 Stosa. So yeah, pretty much this is all. Wait, he's gone? Bro. I got disconnected for what? Okay, guys, we're now back and please Roblox, I'm recording. Do not shut down the server. And uh, yeah, 149 Stosa is now here. And again, he will be giving us a damage of 3.3 billion as per his basic attack. So let's uh, try to use him just to clap this uh, mini boss over here. And as you guys can see, pretty insane improvement on our DPC. 528 million already, guys. Okay, here's gonna be his ultimate. Ooh, 1.68 billion. I think that the last time that we actually used him before upgrading him to level 149, he was uh, spamming like 644 million. But as you guys can see, together with his uh, basic attack, 6 point something billion, it's now going to be 1.68. So this is only his second ultimate, guys. And I think that he will be able to one clap or no, 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 not one clap, but he will be able to kill this mini boss here on his third ultimate. And that's that's really not that bad considering that the hp of this boss is 750 billion so yeah definitely guys pretty good stuff if you will have like a secret pet 149 at least to get a win strong too as his passive really really op god dang all right guys in comparison i actually have here in my bag a level 146 shiny craftable mugetsu and keep in mind that this mugetsu actually got a strong three passive so 50 percent more damage and look at this guys it is not really a trivia that a secret pet is actually worse compared or actually a lot worse compared to the shiny craftables but damage wise look at this level 149 stasa would actually almost be the same level as a uh, level 146 with strong three mugetsu shiny craftable and uh, as you guys can see it's it will be like 0.1 billion difference only guys so i know that stasa will have higher level but what i'm trying to say here guys is i mean power wise the damage of the new secret pet is actually not that bad considering that 
the gap of their damage is not really that far and uh, i think that if mugetsu actually have the same strong two passive or probably our secret pet has a strong three passive definitely guys this secret pet would even hit harder compared to our shiny craftable mugetsu of course we cannot really compare him to our other uh, fighters here because well i mean they're already like 150 plus so <laughs> they're already like pretty god dang op especially this one with blessing 9.5 billion guys but if we're actually going to equip our best look at that guys it's still gonna be the mugetsu will be selected by the game so unequip and if we're going to equip him instead of our mugetsu i think that it's he's not gonna be that out of place because his damage is also that insane as you guys can see 649 billion dpc already if we are going to include him on our team but if we're gonna equip our best our damage per click will be 6.51 billion so it's not really that big of a difference right and look at this guys for my team i think that he's actually a perfect fit he will have like literally one less hit before he will hit his ultimate so it's not really that big of a delay and that means we can just uh, easily ult cancel look at that guys he canceled i mean he casted his uh, ultimate first again and that is really a good fit at least for my team at the moment but i mean it doesn't really matter if they are sync or not having a sync unit or at least having a sync full team is just a lot easier for you to at least you know time your um, macros and also at the same time it is it's a lot lot easier for you guys to ult cancel because if you'll have like a full team with sync attacks then every single time that you will ult canceling you are not really wasting any hits or any number of hits from your attack but anyway guys that's gonna be the power of the newest secret pet here on the seven deadly sins island and his name will be stosa or estorosa uh, again guys i just literally wasted my 100 trillion just to show you at least in a video how powerful a level 150 or should I just say level 149 Stosa with a free passive as well strong too and like what I told you guys just imagine if you have like a full team of level 150 Stosa even if you will not have those shiny craftable it's still gonna be a solid solid fighter but anyway guys that's gonna be pretty much it for this video if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe use the star code snow whenever you're buying robux and as always thank you so much for watching Stay cold! Shiny Craftable Mythical is up next. Out!